Hello, hello. What is happening? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? How's everyone doing? Awesome. We're about to get started. Let's... Hey, hey guys. What's cracking? Hope you're having a great day. It's Friday night, 8 p.m. right now. I uh, just have a quick shower. That's why my hair's a little bit wet. But we're going to jump into some logo designs today. And it's going to be awesome. We're going to have fun. We're going to play around. These were sent to me from people in the community. So um, most of them are not logo designers. They run businesses and things like that. So we're going to jump into it. I'm just going to go live on Instagram as well um, quickly. But we're just going to jump right in and um, hope you guys enjoy. Why don't you guys... Uh, share in the chat where you're listening from. It's good to know um, where you guys are from, which is cool. Do 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 do. Oh, Belgium, awesome. <coughs> Hey, hey, hey. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm just going to go live on Instagram as well. All right. Two seconds. All right. Sweet. Hopefully this connects. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay, I'm just going to get the uh, the chat up on the side. All righty. So we're in Illustrator. All right, let me just open my emails, guys. It's been a busy day, been a busy, busy day. Um, all right, sweet, let's go. So the first one we have is from Ricky. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna drop it in here. Hopefully you guys can see everything. Hi from Sweden, hi Gabriella, hi Mohammed. Um, hey Hardik, hey guys, what's happening? Hey guys, so I'm live on YouTube as well. Um, so everyone that's on Instagram, you can watch it on YouTube, it's a bit easier. But feel free to chill on Instagram here. Um, and yeah, I'm probably not going to see the questions on here. So if you have questions, go to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> All right. So this is from Ricky. Um, this is a logo design for a company. Uh, plus RX. It's supposed to be minimal and stands for people like us. Um, the company is a vintage pharmacy themed music label <laughs> that hosts events and shows. Hope this makes the cut. Company plus RX. Is that even... There's a lot of things happening with this. Okay, so... Um, overall... I don't know why these, these little symbols. I like the R mark. It's just like a simple R with like this little line here. Um, I don't know what these little symbols are, but... Um, I'm trying to research, see if we can find this place. Is this it? I don't, I don't think that that's it guys. I don't know. Do do. All right, cool. So the, I don't know if the business is, all right, let's, um, so I kind of like it. Let's just play around with just making a simple R mark, right? How can we make this a bit more vintage? Because he mentioned, right? He mentioned it, it's meant to be vintage, but it does. This doesn't look vintage. It's got. A, this is a serif. Uh, vintage pharmacy themed music la label. So I feel like let's play around with some fonts. I'm going to 
filter out um, and I'm gonna just start playing around and see what we see what we have over here we got Oh, what's happening? All right, we'll, we'll play with the black um, blackhead font. And I'm just going to go through some my fonts here and see what we can find. Do, 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 do. All righty. So I want some vintage fonts. So I like duplicating and just playing around. I'm going to just turn this filter off because typically my favorites, I've got a few here. They're really good for like um, packaging or vintage. We got W Herman there. Uh, where did they go? W Herman Heavy. And uh, what else we got here? What else? Buffalo. Uh, this one is a bit more rounded. <clears throat> I had a, some new fonts today that um, I've downloaded as well. What about those? I'm going to try and find those fonts that I had. Um, India, awesome. Thanks guys for watching. Alright, I'm going to do... <clears throat> so we want to make it more vintage. Let me just go find my fonts. Guys, I've got like so many fonts. I put it somewhere here. I think. Alright, so I'm just downloading some, um, some really like vintage fonts that I got from a friend. So hopefully they're going to work straight away. Sometimes you have to reset Illustrator, um, which is, you know, re really interesting. All right, I don't know if it's wor working. It's not going to be my favorites. All right, here we go. All right, cool. We got some fonts here. And guys, the aim of this is like not to be... It's all for educational purposes, so it doesn't matter if the logo is like looks better or worse. It's just for you know experimentation. That's a pretty cool font. Um, and then we've got what? What's this one? Old Alfie. Oh, whoa, that's like old school. Royal signage. So <clears throat> we've got plenty of fonts to choose from. These are more of the modern ones up here. But then we've got sort of these nice R ones. This is a little bit too Victorian slash um, old school. And even this one. <clears throat> so this is like pushing the boundaries. This is sort of in between. And then we've got these ones up here. So I kind of like this one, but it feels stretched. So I might have to like customize it. But let's just play around. Let's play around with uh, this one here, right? It's got a vintage feel. I like how it's sort of got these nice tail here. So... <clears throat> Scale this back. I'm going to expand it. And then I'm going to start to play around and see what we can do here. So, for example, I'm going to press P for the pen tool and start to come on the outsides here. I'm going to turn off my snap to pixel. And then I'm just sort of cutting that out like this. So that's kind of cool like this. And then I can just shape builder that off. Right. Maybe I can customize it. I can move it down. Obviously, we'd want to make sure that it looks like a P. We don't want it to be too far off with the spacing because then it'll look like a P. So now it still looks like an R if I zoom out, which is nice. I might customize this. So I'll drop this down a bit. <clears throat> what if I wanted to like move this up? I could do that. Like there's so many different things I can do, right? So I'm going to just duplicate this. And then what if I wanted to do like a plus symbol? Because he said it's like a pharmacy, right? So I could do something like this. And by the way, whoever's on Instagram, I have low battery, so it might um, it might crash, guys. Best laptop promotion, <laughs> guys. 
don't bother asking questions there. <laughs> like, what if I, like, had a plus symbol or something, like, over here? Like, I don't know, like, that, that could possibly work. What if I, like, get rid of this and just, like... You know, there's, like, heaps of things we can do. Because he sort of had, like, this plus symbol here, right? But it was, like... It's all disjointed. Like, it doesn't feel like a logo. It feels more of, like, a graphic. So when you sort of combine the two elements, it starts to, like, come in sync. I might just thin this out a little bit. So we can keep that element. But I think it looks better when it's thicker. Yeah, I think, I think that's kind of cool. This thing is a little bit annoying. It's too far down. So I'm just going to bring this up. So I'm grabbing the anchor point and then sort of shifting it. And then just making sure that the anchor point, that the, the bevier curve is still um, nice and smooth. Try a DaVinci font. Uh, this really looks like a great font. I hope from Insta to here. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. I can see you guys in the chat. Really cool. Um, this font... This font is called, uh, which one, what is it called? I don't even know. I just downloaded it. Anyway, so I feel like this, this is looking good enough. It's got a nice touch. It still looks like an R. Looks more unique, you know, than just having sort of this graphic over here, which is like disjointed. Um, so I feel like this looks a lot more interesting. So that's number one. Let's jump into the next one. Alright, hey Jeremy, I'm a logo designer from New York City. I'd love to have a logo redesigned for my Twitch identity. What is your YouTube URL where I can watch? Alright guys, let's let's um, share the YouTube link, eh? I'm just going to... Uh... What happened to the music? Oh, my wife is listening to music downstairs. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Um, okay, one second guys, one second, we're getting this, slowly, um, I accidentally deleted the email, alright, so I'm just gonna move this stuff over here, another cool trick is like you can press control shift H and that sort of gets rid of that like that, so that looks awesome, um, <clears throat> Alrighty, let's go back. This logo. This is the logo, guys. <laughs> oh, man. He gave me a hard one. I don't know if I should do it. <laughs> what do you guys think of this logo? What's the logo design strategy? There is no strategy. It's just create. I am married. Yes, I am. <clears throat> okay, guys. What do you think of this? He didn't give me any background. Um... So, I, I kind of like it. The, I like the beard. I don't, I'm not digging this color here. I don't know. That color doesn't feel right. I like the little game um, PlayStation controller. Overall, it looks kind of cool. It would be cool if we had like sort of maybe a banner or something. Like, I don't want to ruin this too much. It kind of looks like decent where it is. Maybe let's play around with colors and sort of maybe let's get like a, like a ninja banner or something. <clears throat> For example, if I go do some research, right, we look at Ninja's, um, Ninja's logo, and we'll go to, uh, Logo Pond. <clears throat> uh, let's type, so Logo Ponds are good for research, so I'll just jump in here, go to, type in Ninja or something. Sometimes we find some interesting things here. Creative ninjas. <laughs> some logos are funny. So we're just getting inspiration, right? I kind of like I kind of like this some of these fonts. Like this is kind of cool. Blaze Ninja. I don't mind that. What do we just copy this here? 
Well, this logo is very big for some reason. Okie dokie. So, um, what do you think of Ninja's logo? Uh, are you working on a freelance? Hey guys, just um, I'm working on logos that were sent to me. So they're all redesigns. They're just for fun, for educational purposes. Some are from real. They're all from real people. And um, yeah, we're just designing. So um, check it out. Okay, dokey. We're back. Okay, so I like sort of this this banner here. That's kind of cool. So let's uh, let's try and make something. Let's try and make something, guys. Well, then you can see how we you have this like shadow. So what you can do is you just like get the pen tool. I'll change the color, right? So you can see what's sort of happening. Well, like this, and then I'll press Shift and do Shape Builder. So now I have sort of this custom shape. Um, let me just customize it like this. So we can use this as like a shadow. So this can be like that shadow and this can be like this. Like just something like that. I think it should be, this side should be the darker one. Uh, like this. I don't know, we can play around with it. Right. So, that's something we can do. And I'm going to play around with the colors. So I like to go to, uh, Color hunt. Let's find a palette. So he's obviously a gamer. I don't know what type of games he watches, to be honest. Um, I'm thinking like this color here. I kind of like, I like this palette. So I'll, I'm just going to screenshot this. I'll copy, paste this in like this, and then I'll just, uh, I'm just going to delete my swatches. You can see my swatch panel. So I'll use the eyedropper. Then I'll make a folder. So now I've got my swatches there. And um, let's, let's get a background. Let's sort of, let's just copy in this purple here, and then we'll make it darker. So I'll get the shade, drop it like this. Right, and then I'm going to everything is grouped so already oh, except for the uh, I'll group it and then I'm gonna use the magic wand tool the, now what this allows me to do is it allows me to Select all the colors so I can select all the pink and I can literally just change change it So I can go like the blue the purple you know what I mean? So whatever way I want to do it so I can change to this pink if I want I can change to the purple, right? And then what I'll do, I'll go back to my color guide, and you can see it's set to warm and cool. I can also change it to vivid. I can do tints and shades. There's so many ways you can do it, right? So um, I like going to my monochromatic, and then I'll click this little plus button, and this gives me some extra colors to work with. So I can start to play with these, um, you know, darker shades, as you can see. So now I'll use the, the dropper tool. And then select whatever color, and it should select all this pink. And then I'm gonna select that um, the lighter pink there and the darker there. And obviously, like it's got some weird shading here; it's not, it's not really working for some reason. So I'm gonna just delete these that shading. His body is white. Um, we could do it like this. Yeah. What if we just go for the uh, this teal color? Like the tool color. Uh, what happens here? Wait, I think this. Maybe it should be all purple. This bit. Maybe he. <laughs> maybe he has a blue body, guys. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think of a blue body? I don't know. Something like this. What do you think? 
Does it look cool? Um, and then I might select this black. I think I wrecked it. I don't know what happened to this thing, this banner thing. And then maybe, I think the eyes, what if we played around with this? Um, press P. I think the chat disappeared. Hold up, guys, one second. I would say different color palette. Awesome work always. Thanks, guys. Bandana. <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing around, guys. What do you think? I'm thinking of what to do with these eyes, but um, <clears throat> what if we added, <coughs> what if we added like some eyebrows or something? Wait, a cool way to do this is you do a path like this, and then you press Shift W for the width tool, and then I can just do this. So it's like a quick way to do it. Um, and then I'm gonna expand it, and I'll make it black, and then I'll reflect it. And then this eye thing, I'm trying to get into the group. What if I deleted that? I don't know, that might look, make him look like wacky <laughs> or something, I don't know. Um, anyway, I might just leave that. So anyway, <coughs> I think overall it, it just feels different. I'm just going to ungroup. Everything's grouped together. It just makes it a little hard to um, move things around. There's this white ball of panda. Make him blue. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think I'm going to move on. But, um, yeah, it looks kind of different. Um, and um, I'm just going to leave it there. Alrighty, let's go to the next one. Do it like actual panda eyes. <laughs> I could spend more time on it, but it's just going to take forever, man. Anyway, um, alright. How's Instagram going? Oh my gosh, people are like, what's happening? Okay, Tech Punk. Alright, here we go. N another one, guys. Another one. So this is the logo, the original. What, do you, what are your thoughts? So... <clears throat> So, I don't mind the color. I can tell that it's some sort of USB connection thing. It obviously feels like it's a tech channel. I can see what he's trying to do with this. That he's trying to do a mohawk and it's a person, right? Um, but right away, you can't tell that unless you look further. There's a lot of space in this E here. And because the this font, you see this font, it's a very high um, font. It's got a lot of um, height, so the um, the X height is is fairly high. So this feels a bit weird. Like you probably don't even need this because you've got such a like a interesting or abstract mark, right? So I'm just gonna copy and paste the text. Um, okay, wait. So it's a tech punk. Is a newly founded startup that aims to change change the tech recruit mark forever we say goodbye senseless rules and old school structures there we focus on customer clients blah blah, 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 blah. our support is not image jobs place we're interested in personal connects with our personal approach hard work ethic always include long-term success tech punk will change the bad view about view many people have about recruitment companies especially in the large technology sector we are experienced by hunger right not greedy we're not afraid to take the big sharks of the industry Tech recruitment market. Okay. Tech recruitment. I haven't done many logos for HR companies, but... Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go. So, I feel like we need to play around with this font. So... 
I'm going to go for TT Norms because I just love TT Norms and it's just simple, right? So let's go Tech Punk. We can make it one word, right? This icon, <coughs> I want to just image trace it. Okay. I'm going to expand it because he didn't give me the AI files. I only got a PNG, guys. So, um, designer problems 101. Uh, so I'm just going to bring this out here. And I feel like it's it makes the logo very long. So it's probably better to sit next to it like this. And maybe even get rid of... Like, I don't know if this USB thing is working. Why not just um, make, like, one of the letters custom, right? Okay, so... I'm going to tighten this up. I'm going to see where I can add some different connections there. So... For example... I like to mess around with the, with the uh, font. So we'll just cut... Is like that right? So this is how you can sort of make things custom. So what if? So like, that's how you can sort of make things custom. I'm I'm thinking, what if we like take this T and just like customize it completely? So it's like segmented. So these three squares can represent these three parts, right? And then what if I? got this triangle and to do that to make it one a star one side you just press the arrow keys right so I could do it this way or I could do it this way like that pointing this way that could be interesting um, because I don't want the arrow to point outward from the logo that's one thing to keep in mind so I'll move this in like this and then I'll sort of make that, tighten up that thing. So we've sort of got like an arrow pointing to that, to the E. And then what else we got? We could, what if we took this and put it somewhere like here? I don't know. I don't know if we need that mohawk. You know what I mean? I'm just going to duplicate this. I'm actually getting fairly hot in here. It's like Bluetooth Punk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bluetooth Punk. What do you guys think? Hey, guys, I'm not answering questions on Instagram. Come on YouTube and I'll answer your questions. Um, alrighty. Let me just take off my jumper. Oh, it's too hot out here. Okie dokie. Um, let me just move this. Alright. Oh, what happened? Okay, cool. Um, let's start looking at, uh, let's go. Let's go Logo Lounge. Let's type in punk, see what happens. Let's see what happens, guys. Mm, okay, that's not working. Let's go Pinterest. La da da, la da -de. Why am I signed out of Pinterest, guys? Okay. Let's type punk logo. See what we find. Oh man, nasty. All right, let's go tech logo. Let's go tech logo minimal. Okay, this is how you search for stuff, right? So, oh my gosh, what's happening? Okay. Hopefully, you guys can see this. Nice and simple. So many ways we can approach this white thing. Do, do, do. Because with logos, you don't always have to be literal, guys. You don't have to be literal. You can literally make it feel different with just simple typography choices. 
Put a mohawk on the sea. Yeah, I could do that. This looks interesting. No, I don't want. Oh my! I don't want notifications. Pinterest. Uh. This looks interesting. This is sort of like techy. Oh, them some nice logos right there. Oh, look at this one. I like it. So what if we start making some weird things happening? Um, the mohawk. All right, we'll test that out. What if we we could probably do it like this, and then I'm gonna cut this B like that. Now nah, that ruins it. What if I do it from the bottom? It might look alright. This is like way out of proportion. I have to scale it down, guys. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, guys, we're just gonna we're just gonna play around here. Um, yeah, I just don't think we need this. Like, it just what it does not adding any value. Like, you don't associate a mohawk with, you know, you know what I mean? But it's good to test things out. Hey, man, silly ads are annoying. On what? Instagram? What ads? What are you talking about? Um, I want to pick a color. Do 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 do. I think I'm going to use this. With a. Uh, or should we go pink again, guys? Like this blue. So this is how you make colors, guys. And I'm just plussing these shapes that we've done. And then I'm gonna do this. Right. We'll make a gradient. Then I'll press F4 for because I have a compound path. I don't know, guys. What do you think? The old one? Or should I keep playing around with it? I feel like this, this logo needs like a mark or something. It needs like some uh, logo mark. But anyway, he didn't really give me descriptive words. So I'm just going to leave it, guys. And move on to the next one. All right, let's see, let's see. God, by the way, I haven't checked these emails, so I don't know what people sent me. They could have sent me like some weird stuff, but um, we'll see. All right, so I got this this thing. What is this? Legendary Minds Custom Visuals. Uh, my logo is for my business, which is a custom design visual arts service. Offering products such as banners, signs, pen and ink, mixed media artwork, handmade clay sculptures. The tagline is Legendary Memories by Creative Minds. Okay, so we have a tagline, guys, for the first time. So we have a tagline. My business name is Legendary Minds Custom Visuals. Okay. Um, rule number one, guys, always have a short name. Already, this is just too long. This this is very long for a for a name. If you could envision something more unique, com 
Keeping the actual logo image, if possible. I do like purple as a color. This is a picture at the bottom. I use as dedication to his brother who passed away. Okay, I understand. Okay, he likes the purple. Um, he creates signs and banners and artwork. So it's he's a bit of an artistic guy. Okay, so um. Alright, so we'll keep this color. I'm just going to extract the color. So I like making a shape. Press I for the drop eyedropper tool. And then I'm going to sort of select some of these colors over here. Okay, so he likes this palette. But this is not simple enough. This is like too abstract. And the font doesn't feel... I don't know. It doesn't... F He's trying to make it feel premium. So I don't know. It doesn't feel premium. So... Because this is long, I'm going to... What if he just called it like Legendary Visuals? That would be kind of simple and nice. Legendary Minds Custom Visuals. Legendary Memories. Legendary... I'm just going to cut down the name, guys. It's just too long. Alright, we're going to go with Legendary Visuals. <coughs> Let's try and do something a little different here. Alright, I haven't decided on what type of font I'm going for, but a sans font is always good. So here's one way how you can do a, a lockup. So you could sort of do it like this, we can do it like this. Uh, we can sort of lay it out next to the... We don't want to make it too small, so we could sort of do it like that, but it becomes too small, the text. So, having the word legendary duplicated makes it redundant. So, we probably could take that out and say memories by creative visuals. Um, or creative minds, sorry. Um, because you're already emphasizing on that point, right? So, it's like, I can make it bigger like this. So we're just playing around, guys. We're playing around. What's the comment saying? Hey, man, how how do you choose a design according to a company? How do you zoom in so quick? Oh, you hold Alt and you use your mouse wheel and you zoom in like this. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it's probably Option. <laughs> I'm on a PC, so it's like Alt. Um, Oh man, you didn't answer the questions. Oh, obviously I'm not looking at the screen, man. <laughs> People get so angry. They don't just they just don't enjoy free content, guys. You got to appreciate people, man. Pinterest? Yeah, I'm not sure about Pinterest. Typically, I don't know, it just depends, man. <clears throat> All right, so we've got legendary visuals. What if we made some texture or something interesting? Yeah, let's go with legendary open up like canary yeah stop acting like a fairy oh guys what are we gonna do we're gonna get some textures what's your question how do you choose a design according to a company? That's a broad question, man. What you need to do is obviously ask questions. You need to ask questions, find out the history of the company, ask out the values, the why, the how, the what. Like, there's so many questions you need to ask, bro. Okay, we got some interesting textures here. Why don't we just drop one of these in? Is this a TIFF? Yeah. Uh, transparent... Oh, I don't want a PNG. I want... Oh, th these... Um, these textures are... Vector. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to... Panda Man. <laughs> Panda Man. Alright, so maybe we could use this texture, guys. I don't know. It's lagging. Such a big fan. Toby, my man. What's cracking? Thanks for the love, my man. 
There's haters out there, guys. People, man, just impatient. Do 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 Legendary visuals. Um. Okay, what do we what do we got got? Oh, we could do some classic. Nah, it's too vintage, guys. What do you think? Too vintage. Uh. Wait 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 wait. Let's let's play with some fonts here. We could go for a script. Mm, I don't like that script that was there. Why don't we just go make it a bit more creative? He wants to have it fun, so... Uh, this font is called Allentine. It's a free one. Obviously, you can tell the quality... Even when I press an S, it just makes another S for some reason. Oh my gosh, this font's annoying me. This font's broken, guys. Steak and cheese. Alright, we'll go steak and cheese brush. Okay. I like this font, so we'll, we'll mix it up. We'll mix it up, guys. And what if we did an uppercase? And is new. Uh, maybe we can overlap it. Maybe not. How think logo design according to brand. How think. Um, how think according. Uh, what do you mean? You always need to make objective decisions, guys. You need to have a discovery session with your client. Ask the right questions. Find out what's the goal. What's the objective? Who's the target audience? All those things matter. You know what I mean? You don't just do random things. Because you think it's right. It's about the customer. It's always about the customer, guys. Okay? So, what I'm going to do with this group, I'm going to make it a compound path. And then, I'm going to bring it behind... Um, oh my god. This thing. And then... Wait, wait. I need to plus this... I need to plus this text together. Okay, that, now that's what I plus the text together and now I'm gonna make a clipping mask. Let's see if it works. I don't think it works, guys. Alright, hold up. I'm trying to get this texture on this thing. Um. Uh, Do, do, do. I'm trying to make a clipping mask, guys. And it's crashing for some reason. How's Instagram going, guys? My battery... Oh, Alright, the phone's dead. Oh, well, see you later, Instagram. Alright. Um. Oh, Ragu, what's cracking? Just starting out as a designer, what's the best way to learn the design theories? Is there a class? Um... So guys, if you want to learn design, there's so many resources out there. I have online courses that you can take on Skillshare at the moment. That's going to help you. You can also take courses from Sean West, from The Future. Um, there's plenty of courses on lynda.com or they call it LinkedIn Learning. You can go on Skillshare. Um, but find the best designers in the industry. Don't just pick anyone, you know what I mean? Find the ones that are actually doing the work and you know what I mean? So that's why I have to say that. The next question, let's say, all right, we're going to get back, back to, oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh, 
I was glitching, guys. This is not working out how I intended it. Stuff it. I'm just gonna get this texture. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, do, do. Oh my gosh, what is happening? I'm done with this texture, guys. Forget it. Alright, there's a logo. Let us move on, my friends. All right, we have one from Cushy. Hi, Jeremy. I'm Cushy from Cushy Graphics. Just sending this to you. If you really like it, please proceed or, or else leave it. Man, that's not giving context, guys. When I say give context, I don't know what this logo is about. Okay, obviously it's a K, and it, maybe it's for him. He's a designer. Cushy Graphics. Okay, so this logo looks like it's from the 19, 90s. Guys, this is outdated, man. Let's let's come up with something better. Okay. Cushy cushy graphics, yeah. Slap on some slapstick, lipstick, uh. Crack it, yeah. What you got, my friend? Okay, let's see what's wrong with this. So, first of all, it's got these weird shadows. It doesn't look unique. It's not uh, it's not really scalable because you lose this gradient. You see this gradient in here? Like, you can't really tell a small size, like, what that is. Like, is it a button? Is it a robot? I don't know. Is it an, a bionicle eye? I don't know. You can see the K, right? It could mean be lava. I don't know. It could be an orb. But to me, it's not it's not unique, right? For example, if we go to Alan Peters, the Instagram crashed. Yeah, look, guys, my phone is out. So, see you later, man. Alan Peters has dope logos, bro. It looks old school. Rapping. Yeah, you might catch me rapping here and there, guys. Be careful. <laughs> I'm kidding. We told him. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you some awesome logos. You ready? Are you ready, my friends? Look at these. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. Look at this. This is good logo design, guys. Just watch and learn from the masters. Look at this. Boom. Simple. Elegant. Something like this always is really good. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, that. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. I love it. Oh, that's my favorite right there. Guys, look at these logos. Just admire and and just enjoy. Enjoy the view. Suggest some logo design websites. Take my course. I give you suggestions. But Logo Pond and Logo Lounge are the best at the moment. So, um. Anyway, guys, I could sit here all day, but let's try and let's get this logo here and copyright to the designers. So what if we created something like this? So I'm going to go for uniform. Okay. I'll go for, let's go for black. I'm going to expand it. All right. And then what we can do is I'm going to go offset path. So offset path. So I'll go make one like this. All right. Oh my gosh, what happened? It's goofing. It's goofing, Boris. It's goofing, guys and girls. All right. So now we got. I'm gonna ungroup it because. Okay. So we got one there. I'll do it again. I'm gonna borrow this palette as well. Why not? Why not, my friends? We can round off the edges if you want, but then you see you get these weird spaces there. 
So, um, I'm trying to think. We need to... We need to make this blue. I don't, I don't know why everyone in like other like third world countries or they call they say, always say graphics is that's not it, like we used to spell like graphic or whatever but <clears throat> it's better it's guys it's better to say design because if you say graphics you're positioning yourself as just some some kid <laughs> that is just a pixel pusher <laughs> always say like design or like Agency or something guys, you know what I mean? Okay, so this stroke I don't I'm not So you can see that's a nice shape there There's also an arrow in here you see this arrow What if I did this? Let's let's just play around, guys. Let's do a star. Whoa! I'm trying to figure out where we can do this. Just cleaning it up. I'm trying to see if you can put like a star in here or something. I don't know. It's not working. It is not working, my friends. Cut this. And obviously, guys, this is a rush job, so if you design for clients, make sure you spend time <laughs> doing a logo properly. Website has very some interesting Peter Komarazaki. That's awesome. You should check out Aaron Draplin, guys, as well. Aaron Draplin. Um, logo. Um, logo Inspirations is good as well. I don't know what's happening here. It's not lining up properly. So I'll do this and then I'll offset path that. Right, like this. And I'll use that to cut off the triangle there. And I think I'm going to make this wider, guys. Like this. Key, straighten it up. And there we go. We got some interesting thing. And then what if I like flipped it? I don't know. It's like some weird arrow thing. I'll drop it down to like bold. I don't know what happened here. This square is like broken. So I'm, I'm I grouped them together and I'm just scaling it down like up and down. See, <laughs> maybe we can put the star there. Why not? 
Let me round it off a little bit. All right, there we have it, guys. What do you think? Which is better? Uh, left or right? Which one is better? King Kush. <laughs> Mika Studio? Oh, hey, PK. I, I forgot to send the link, bro. Sorry, man. Oh, water is good. What do you guys think? Right? Deaf right. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. This is how you... You got to think... How can I simplify the a logo? You know, a logo should always be reductive, appropriate, distinctive, and simple. These are the three keys, right? Sagi Haviv teaches that. So it needs to be simple. You need to reduce it to its most simple form and not add all these gradients and things. And like gradients are cool if it's like a more tech logo and simple. Um, but you want to try and just think simple shapes because someone needs to be able to remember that in their mind. So it's like just... Don't overcomplicate it. Don't add like drop shadows and all these weird things. Like, you don't need that. You just keep it simple. Keep simple name, clear tagline, and just use bold colors. I, I love using neon and bold colors because it's like futuristic. But um, yeah. All right, next one. Hi Jeremy, I'm very much excited to publish your video YouTube. Oh, he didn't even post the logo. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Thanks, brother. We are live on YouTube. Um, what was your website for Logo? Guys, Logo Pond. Uh, Logo Pond, Logo Lounge, Pinterest, um, Behance. Um, what else? We've got other sites here. There's heaps of other good sites I have. Uh, but back to logo designing, my friend. Okay, Robert Williams. I saw that you're doing logo design. I have a product I'm launching soon that I thought would be good. I whipped up a logo for video course, endless clients in Figma. But it could be better. Here's a page where you can see it. Okay. He's building a product. Okay, interesting, interesting. Folio. Folio. Okay, okay. So guys, let's look at the, let's zoom in here. What do you think of the logo, guys? Does it need redesigning or not? You tell me, guys, does it need redesigning? What are your thought? what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? What's the logo thinking according to brand? Can you rephrase, your questions don't make sense. Please, please fix your questions. <coughs> Fix your questions, my friend. Products to grow your business, diversify your income streams, and finally separate your time from your income. Okay, I like the design of the website. So it's very like it's like tech, it's like a software, piece of software. Um I don't mind the logo to be honest. Maybe the the font could be a bit different. I like the icon. Let's image trace it, see if it does any good. Uh, image trace usually stuffs it up, guys, to be honest. Okay, that's close enough. Uh, I'm just going to delete the mask around it. I'll duplicate this. I'm going to keep the icon. But maybe let's play around with the fonts. So we'll go type case, change case, and then you can go title case. And then we'll go uppercase, guys. Always like do this and then like duplicate. And then like start to create, uh, pick a font, right? So we want to sort of go for a modern font. I like Montreox. I got Montreox Classic. I don't want outline mode. What the? I'm just going to put that there.
Yeah, I don't think maybe it should be like it. It's more friendly when you have fonts that are lowercase, guys. It's more friendly with the star like icon. Looks good. Maybe play with the spacing. I think the icon is simple. Like you can tell it's some sort of star or like some splash or something. Like it's creative. I like it. Maybe we could put a gradient or something on it. Um, you can see he's got some blue color here that he's using. I think that's fine. Maybe we should take this blue color. I'll add a gradient to it, boys. drop the opacity of this put like maybe like a gray I don't what happened here did it duplicate itself it did another cool thing we could do is do it like something like this What do you think of that, guys? It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like messing with things like that. I won't connect it fully. I'll just uh, leave it like that. I think that's kind of nice. Thank you so much. Um, What else could we do? What else could we do? Um, I'm trying to think. Folio. Like, already, so this was what the logo was. It always, it already feels like a lot friendlier to me. Maybe this is too bold. Like, what do you guys think? Do you think it's too bold? And then I'm going to, um, I need to change... I don't want it too blue. I want it like a purpley red. So you can see the color there. It's like more of a bluey tone instead of like. And then let's duplicate it, guys. And then I'm going to round this off, round the corners. So you see all the edges, we round it off a bit. Just to make it softer. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, I think that's good enough, guys. What do you think? What do you think is better, the original or the new one? Oh my gosh. Jeremy, I think if you make the text too creative, it's gonna fight the icon. Yeah, that's that's why I I cut it back. I could just leave it. I could just like cut it. You know, just you know, I could just leave it. That's fine. It that works as well, just like that. So I think that's nice. All right, cool. Let's jump to the next one. It's folio. Oh wow, I spelled it wrong. It's all right, guys. We're we're good. There you go. We fixed it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks. Um, anyway, let's go to the next one. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are funny. Um, okay. Launchpad solutions. Launchpads. Oh, my gosh. What is happening? Oh, wow, guys. You're going to love this one. 
You're gonna love this one. Guys, we're gonna launch pad this thing. <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh. Um, group of companies taking your business to the next level. I feel like that's very cliche, but you know, we all start somewhere. Started and never got around to finishing, got creative block. So I don't know if, if this uh, lady is a designer. Um, but uh, what do you guys, what should we do to this logo, guys? What do you guys think we should do to the logo? Send, put your ideas in the chat. So, number one, this font, it looks like Propius, uh, whatever how you say it. I don't even know. This doesn't look professional. It looks like a kid made that. Um, and obviously, guys, I'm not attacking the ability of the person who made this. We're being objective about the logo. Secondly, the, the icon is very large. I don't mind the idea of a rocket. That's cool. But... It's very large. These little strokes do not work. This font is is random. It doesn't match this font. Like, why is it different? And why why have text if you just have the LP in there? Um, I can see how she put a magnifying glass. And then these... I don't think you need these things, right? So, I want to show you a logo. Um, I'll show you a logo that's heaps nice. Space. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to dribble. I'm trying to. What's the um? There's an app. Here we go. This one. This one. Have you guys? Oh, have you guys seen this logo? That's a dope logo. You know, that's a good one. Okay. Let's go to dribble. Let's go to dribble. Oh. Oh, they're doing a competition. Whoa, look at this work, guys. Amazing. Oh, I like that. Nice and simple. What do I have to sign in, guys? Come on. What a joke. Let me sign in. One second. Stupid thing. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back, guys. Um, Papyrus, font needs to change. Bring him out of the 60s. <laughs> uh, how does pick decide which color suits best? Well, once again, we need to think about the target audience. Half these logos, there's no background, so I'm just like... Sort of using my intuition and my experience, right? So like even this, it's so simple, but it just looks it looks good, right? So let's just, let's just copy this, drop it in here. <clears throat> let's see if we can create something. Okay. Let's go Zona Pro. Um, Zona Pro is a nice font. Boom. Yeah, I like this. Tighten up that kerning a little bit. Nah, we don't, we don't too tight. Maybe loosen it. Little bit. Launch pad. Should we try it with the capital? Yeah, maybe maybe we don't need it. But you get some white space issues. <clears throat> I could just trace this, guys. So I'll go like this. Maybe we want, to, we want to retain some of that logo. We don't want it to like completely cut it out. And then I'm going to press O, hold Alt, reflect it, horizontal, sorry, vertical, copy. Um... We'll round that off like this. I think that's exactly it. Yep. Okay, that's good. I'm going to scale these up a bit. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, we want to position them. Okay, so let's maybe... What color do you guys want? Orange? Let's go orange. I feel like orange is nice and fun. And then we can make this white. Tighten that up. I think it's a bit too bold, so we'll go down to bold. Tighten that up. Space it out. Drop it smaller. Launch pad. And then maybe we can just like put an L or something. Like, I don't know, put it L, that's not really working. Just leave that out. Um, remember, simplicity always wins. No, we want, we want this, that purple color. Yeah, that's what we want. We want that purple right there, my friends. And uh, we want to go color dodge. No, 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 color dodge, maybe, maybe just a white. Okay. We'll go overlay and we'll drop it maybe, what, 40%? Okay, we need to sort of put this within a shape. We need to put this within a shape, guys. What am I doing, guys? I don't know what I'm doing. Jokes. We're just playing around, boys and girls. We are just having fun. Fun in the sun. Well, what do you guys think? Does it look horrible or what? Horrible or better? What have we done? How's the chat? Is this chat live? What's happening? <clears throat> Are we still live? Okay. I don't know. Whatever I've done, it looks better. Let's add a, let's let add a highlight. Probably don't need that purple, but I don't know. What if we did? Obviously, I could spend more time. I could directly copy this if I wanted, but I'll just leave that for now. Alright, that's what I've done. It it definitely looks better than this one. I don't know what this is, guys, but... I don't know. This just feels better. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, guys. We have about... How many left? Seven left. Got to save this to... I'm so glad you're going for another logo redesign. I'm not that good at this, but I still came up with a logo just to get started. 
Hush No More is a startup at the planning stage. It's going to be an online platform where online therapists come together to offer their services at affordable rates. Brand voice is friendly, calm, comforting, welcoming. Welcoming. Don't know if it's the right format or not. Would love to see what changes you've got for this. Have a good weekend. Team Hush. Thanks. Appreciate that. That means a lot. Okay, I'll, we'll type therapist, see what happens. Lots of amazing design. Alright guys, I downloaded the font, uh, the... Oh, come on. Okay. Is this another language, guys? Can anyone read this? Hush no more. I feel like the H in the circle is very generic. Oh, <laughs> uh, guys. What are your thoughts, guys? <coughs> what are your thoughts, my friends? Yo, Jeremy. Hey, man, what's cracking? You Can you play some music? There is music in the background. I'll put it up. You want me to put it up? <laughs> let, me, let me put it up for you guys. Can you hear it? It's finally a real logo. <laughs> yeah, it's better. <laughs> awesome. What is the purpose? Good question. It's an online platform where online therapists come together to offer their services at affordable rates. Okay. I don't know what type of therapists because there's different types of therapy, right? It's a startup in planning stage. Okay. Let's do some research. I feel it we get it with the realest. Okay, okay, let's go check it out. Talk space. That's a cool logo. Okay, this looks like a therapy. Therapy. Oh yeah, feel it. Feel it. Get the realest. Oh. Okay, that's one logo. Let's look at it somewhere else. Oh wait, that's the same thing. Therapy tribe. All right, let's go. Look at that logo. Okay. So I'm just looking at the market, like what's out there, right? Just doing some quick research. Apparently there's for therapists everywhere, guys. Find wellness. Therapy tribe. That font, nasty. Nah, it's alright, but it doesn't look, could look better. Could look better. Yeah, talk space looks cool. It looks nice. What about this one? This one looks alright. It looks super clean, super simple. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm just gonna refill my water bottle. So we are. I'm just gonna be right back real quickly. We'll take a quick ad break.
Sorry guys, can you hear me? Sorry guys, it was off. Wow. Sorry. Um, so our friends from Hush said that this is a smile, guys. Um, so one of the issues I've noticed is a lot of white space. There's a lot of white space here. This is generic. This it's probably better to put this inside of here. So you have like here and like that. Um, the color palette is very mature, very friendly. It does feel it does feel calm. Um, this is uppercase, and I'm not sure if this is, this feels like it's distracting a little bit from this, you know what I mean? But overall, it's, it's, um, it's a good logo. I'll play around with it, I'll see if we can come up with something, but overall, I feel like it's a good start, to be honest, so it won't need many changes. All right. So psychotherapy and the dust of baby even as well. Okay, okay. Okay, my friends and family. Yeah, it, it, it does feel friendly, 100%. You can see the it's rounded. Definitely, definitely. That's okay, no problems. Once again, it's just for educational purposes. I'll be I'll play around with it. Um but yeah, you can you can use the logo if I come up with anything different, but um but yeah. Thanks for sending it through. We've got Zona Pro. I used to have this cool font, it was called Moon. It's somewhere in my files, but I haven't used it in a while. Because, like, heaps, like, rounded. So, guys, to get off a friendly vibe, it is a smart decision to do lowercase and a rounded font. That instantly gives away that friendly, um, friendly vibe. So, I've got a nice font called ja um, Montreal, Montreux Jazz Soft. So, you can see, and it's got, like whole bunch of weights so you can see this so this would be really nice so let's go I like the bold so we'll stick at this font maybe space it out a bit I'm just playing around guys you know what I mean da -da -da. Does that have to be two words? Yeah, it must be. I'll just leave that. I want to use a PD, PSD for mockups. Photoshop is expensive. No, it's not, bro. You need. You, you can pay for <coughs> Adobe Creative Cloud if you're a student for 20 bucks a month. That's nothing, bro. If you get a client for a hundred dollars, you can pay that off. It's one client. Um. You know what I mean? So. Figure out. Pay. Ask your parents for money. Pay for it. If you put a smile in the circle, it will look exactly like designed by human. Pod site. Designed by human. What? This one? Is it this it? Oh, I get you. I get you. This one. So he's saying, okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. It looks like a magnet. Nice font though. Designed by humans, guys. It's it's a different niche though, to be honest. So you could probably still get away with it. Uh, 
Where to get best free fonts? Um, font Squirrel. I'll show you. Guys, this is a great site. Where can I get my logo looked at? Send it to hello at jeremyru.com, but I've already got a... I'm already an hour and a half in, so I might have to swap. Um, stop soon. Guys, this is Font Squirrel. You can pick that. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to tighten up this a little bit. Hush, hush, little baby. Don't you cry. Oh, I'm so fly. Super high. Um, What can we do with this, my friends and family? Alright, we can do this. So let's let's research a little bit about... Uh, got so many things open, guys. Too many things. Those guys, it's always good to research, right? What is psychotherapy? It's talk therapy. It's a way to help people with broad variety of mental illnesses. So what we could do... Um... I need to round this off, guys. And then what if we like flipped it or something? I don't know. So what if we flipped it and then put the... I don't know. <laughs> I'm just playing around, eh? And then what if... Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think here, guys. <clears throat> Smart one. Yeah, so by flipping it, it's still a H. It's not a Y and you get the smile. But like it sort of makes it... <clears throat> by having the H open outside that circle shows that, it you're, that it's you're open. So it's like openness. Um, that's sort of the idea. And then you've got like a speech bubble here. So it's like, it's a communication that's open. Um, that's sort of how I, I am interpreting it, right? Um, you know, instead of having like, the, obviously like you could have the things here if you wanted. Alright guys, the Spotify playlist is going crazy right now. Um, yeah, because straight away, I don't know if people can tell the smile there. Um, and then what if, what if, what if, what if we just did this? Remember guys, there's no right or wrong answer. This is just for playing around. Oh, come on. I don't know. Maybe we could do something like this. Maybe we get rid of that. I don't know. Just playing around. And then... Let's, let's see what we can do. Let's see. Let's see. I had dribble open. I don't know where it went. I'll just keep the color. I like the color. Looks look, looks nice. Or you could make it like green. 
because we already saw a few blue, like bluish logos. I like this color video. Wait, wait. I'm going to. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. This is a nice color as well. So copy paste the hex code. What if it was like green? Why not? That's welcoming and calm as well. So what if you could... So, anyway guys, we went from this, not that many changes, but just playing around with it, you know, but uh, overall, yeah, it's a decent logo, just gotta play around with it. Alright. <coughs> no worries, my pleasure, thank you so much. Okie dokie, let's go to the next one. Okay, that, that one's not it. Uh, next one's from Lauren... Okay, cool, cool. This one looks nice. Guys, we are losing space on the board. Design story. Crafted branding and web design telling your story. Crafted branding and web design telling your story. This There should be a comma here. I feel like... I feel like this, this tagline needs to be reworked. Number one. This love heart is cool. It should I think it should be on this side. I like the font. Like I think I think that's nice. Um I got your I would love to consider mine. I have th had this for years and as a designer I'm drawing a blank on how to refresh it. I have a boutique studio called Design Story Crafting. Okay. I really wanted to show the passion behind what I do. As I am drawn towards entrepreneurial clients who are purpose-driven and for the betterment of others. I'd love to have it freshened up for when my own web full website goes live. I know I'm kind of like a builder without the house. Okay, so she's rebuilding it. Mm, okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright. Design story. Amazing, bro. Thanks so much. Okay, guys. Let's do it. Design story. So this is what she has currently. Should I... I'll just screenshot this. So it's very feminine, very girly. Um, she wants to be positioned, you know, as a professional. Um... I'll type in logo design 2020. I'll also go to Behance. B 
Being hands is another great way to do your research, guys. Um, sign in, my friend. Uh, logo design. So here's a good, some good stuff. That's nice. There's so many things you can do, you guys. Let me look at this one. Nice. Not bad, not bad. I think I've seen this like type of logo before, like so many times. There's like, there's like hundreds and millions of logos out there, guys. <laughs> Too many logos. Too many logos. Um, crafted. Um. Um. Crafted, uh, crafty messaging, crafty design, um, crafted. Let's go to the thesaurus. Let's let's fix her tagline. Let's um, let's play around. Thesaurus, crafted. Arrange, form, organize, blueprint, brainstorm. Crafted. Crafty, let's try crafty Great stream. Take it easy, man. Thanks for watching Thanks for watching guys Intelligent shrewd crafted Brand design that tells your unique story. I think this works better. All right, let's go. Let's let's play around. Let's see what we can find. Should we do a script again, guys? What do you think? Oh. Geometrica. It's got a lot of waste, this one. Oh, I like this one. Bam. That's dope. Now that's, now that's a dope script. We want to make it feminine, so we want to make sure we're using the right... Why is book...
What if he did like a, a book or a heart of something? How many people we got on? We got 15 people. Awesome. Yeah, kicking back with the crew. Yeah, you know we never lose. I'm winning daily. Uh. Alright guys, what color palette should we go for? I like green. Oh, green? Hmm. Let's write your story. Oh. Yeah, yeah, kick it, flick it, flip it. Switch it around. Get it, get it, get it. Oh. Oh, inline, that's pretty neat. Nah, it's too. I want to go light. Tell your story. Tell your unique story. Tell your unique story. Yeah, I think we should say just tell. It's gonna be tricky. We might have to put it here. Maybe we should just cut out the tagline. What do you think? Should we add an icon? How you choose font for logo? Well, I checked out a website and I saw that it's very feminine. This is what, this is what it was, right? So she's very feminine. She's a designer. She wants that custom feel. You know what I mean? So that's why I chose that. And then put a bookmark there, guys. And I'm gonna drop the weight a little bit. I'm just gonna cut this line off. Like that. Oh, it's looking good, my friends. And what if we wanted to go object path, uh, offset path? I don't know, something like that. What do you think? I could just take this out. There's too much, um...
I'm just expanding it. We can uh, maybe pick this pink again. Mm, I don't. I want it to be a pinky color. This is too yellow. So I want it to be like a salmon. I want a peach color. There we go. Bit too saturated though. What do you think? Uh, human saturation. Oh, maybe I should brighten it up. I don't know, something like that. From... Which one do you think is better, guys? Do you feel like it's freshened up or it hasn't freshened up? Can you tell me what I've learned? Have to learn first. Learn the process of logo design, discovery, researching, how to talk to your client. You know what I mean? All right, that's that one, guys. Next one. A few more left. A few more left, and we're done for the night. How's everyone doing so far? Have you enjoyed the logo session, or was it boring? Okay. Hi, Jerry. Thanks so much, bro. I'd love to see how you can improve the logo so I can improve my perception. I'm starting designer from the, the Netherlands. It's a logo for a fresh starting Dutch company that will be selling food balls to improve people's cup fishing. And then he's asking where that he can find my thing. Do 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 boo boo do da da. All right, guys, the font is broken. This gray color, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna type in carp fishing in the uh. Carp is a common name for a very freshwater fish. Oh, guys, look at this. That's a fat fish right there. Juicy. <laughs> Juicy fish, guys. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Extra baits. It is true. It could be... Um, no, I don't want the wide one. I want the narrow, 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 Da dun 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 dun. Ooh. All right, guys. Which font? Which feels the vibe? Which which vibe are you feeling, guys? Do 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 do. By the way, guys, you can do a super chat if you'd like. Um, if you want a specific question asked, or if you want to support the channel, you can click the super chat button in the chat. Helps me out.
three maybe. So overall, he mentioned a. They will be selling food balls. What is food balls? Food balls? What, like fish balls? I don't, I don't know. Sure. Well, I like this one. It's just different. It's got some different versions. There you go, bulk. Uh, carp fishing in Netherlands. Holland. Oh, that's a beautiful fish right there, my friends. Alright, guys, I'm going to copy this image. Right. And we're going to get some colors from here. So you zoom in, you see the pixels, you can select different colors. All right, I think we're good, guys. So we extracted all these colors. And I want to make a swatch swatch group out of them. Oh, I'm just stretching. I'm just going to ha quickly have a stretch break. And um, I'm just going to quickly have an ad break. One second. Remember guys to subscribe for more juicy content every week. Um, Alright, let's get back to the logo. Whoa, 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 whoa. -na 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 -na. Oh my, look how many weights this font has guys, it's like too many. Bates got them escape coming through like a piece of cake. Extra baits, friends. I like decreasing it to get like a sandy look. Um, it's really cool. Oh, and I just realized that my camera was on the wrong one. Why isn't it switching? All right, here we go. So I started creating the font out. I like this idea of having the italics and the bold, which is really interesting. Um, I want to see if I can um, trace this thing.
Man, this fish is very fat, man. Fat ass. It is a fat one, my friend. Whoa. So I'll go in outline mode to really get that going. <laughs> so yeah guys, we made a, a fish illustration. <laughs> That's a big fish. <laughs> oh, man, it's big. It is one big, big fish. <laughs> Extra, I got the texture. Yeah, bless up. Got the ketchup coming quick, like. Yeah, guys, we're just playing around. <sighs> Obviously, that cup is too, you know. What if, what if, what if, what if? Um, I wanted to play around. This, I don't like this color here. It needs to be like a darker color. Like a brownie color. And then what if we sort of had like a fishing hook or something? I'll type in cup fishing hook. Um, who's loving the lo-fi vibes, guys? Lo-fi, mmm. Yeah. I don't know, what if we had a hook here or something? Something down here or something like that. I'd have to play around with it. But for now, oh my gosh, what's happening? <coughs> oh my gosh. Alright, I think I'm going to... What if, what if, what if, what if, what if we did this? You know what I'll do, guys? I'll do a nice little trick. No, wait. I need a gradient. And then I'll, I'll do a blending mode like this. Oh yeah, we're in business. We are in business, my friends. Obviously, it makes the logo a bit, you know, <laughs> but I'm just having fun right now, guys. Experimentation. Makes it look like... um. I was trying to make some scales. <laughs> but obviously, it doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next one, guys. That's extra baits. Um, yeah. Aroma production. Alright, we have another one from... Um, this one is from... 
This one is from Hardik. Um, from India. There he, she is a graphic, or he is a graphic designer. I saw your Instagram story. Can you please critique my logo? Here I am attached, attaching both logo. Um, Uh, <coughs> the current logo and the redesign. Oh, what? Oh, so they just want a critique, guys. All right, so we'll give a critique. I won't redesign this one. Okay. All right, what are your thoughts, guys? <laughs> so, man, this illustration is so detailed. It's a good thing you changed it. So I like the direction you took it. Um, I like how you went for this font in a lowercase with the you know with the capital. That's nice. We create value for your business. That's very generic. This is generic. You don't need that. Um, I feel like I've seen this A logo before. Um, I don't. I don't think you even need that mark to be honest. You could probably just get away with the font. Forget the mark and just customize um, customize the A, like cut this off and then make the bridge or whatever. Or maybe put like a star in here. Um, and connect this. I think that would be cool. So yeah, that's what I was doing. Overall, it's nice. This is too complex. Like this... Having the circle with the illustration and text space, that's not good. So you did a better job. Looks a lot more cleaner, um, a lot more professional. So, you know, always simplify the logo. Don't have too many things going on. Obviously, um, it depends on the client. Sometimes you need to go for a mascot look, right? Or an esports type of look. So that's up to the, depends on the project. Um, you can send it at... Um, Hello at jeremymirror.com. I've got a few more left, guys, but I'm going to be getting off. Maybe next time you can send it and you can be on the next live. All right. Kelsey. She said... I used Illustrator to create this logo for a scroll and Quill Studios, which is currently my site for POD design work. I'm not sure what POD is. And a couple of Illustrated journals. Afterwards, I figured out that most sites require the logo to be square, so I changed the size and it gets a little squished. I know it's basic. Feel free to play around with it. Oh my gosh, you can't even see the logo. It's tiny. Scroll and quill. I like this. That's a nice picture. Faith, grace, cool, cool, nice. Oh, that looks nice. Illustrated journal. Okay, so she does like little artwork and stuff. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Kelsey. Good on you. I love the patterns. This is nice. That's really interesting. Okay, so... Um, Alright, this will be fun, guys. I'm going to use my vintage fonts. Okay, so number one... Having the a font... Um, having a font that's like on this angle is hard to read. Okay? Secondly, this thing is very thick. See this line? It's very thick. So, like, it's taking all the visual interest. Um, this, the line work here is too complex with the, the, um, the line. Like, look at the line. It's inconsistent. And then the gradient there doesn't make sense. I don't think that looks what, nice. So, we need to simplify this, guys. Right? So, uh, I'm going to try and find, um... Let's try and find an icon. Let's close all those.
I want Envato Elements. Envato Elements, my friends. I'll download that. And I'll put it as a background or something. Dun 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 dun. 3D, anyone? <laughs> 3D, anyone? I don't know if we're going to find what we're looking for here, guys. What? When is the next live? Maybe next week, maybe two weeks. To be honest. Um, they take a lot of effort, to be honest. Um, I don't know if we're going to find what we're looking for, guys. Um, okay, let's find my vintage fonts. There's this one, there's... There's Black River. Royal Signature. Oh, old Erica. Bam. Some nice fonts, guys. We got some we got some nice fonts over here. Alright, which one do you guys like? Should we go for this trippy one? Go for this one, guys. So instead of having and, you can go and uh, and quill. And then this font will pick one of these ones, old Eric. This one's old Alfie, and then this one's like a. So this font. C combines with, with that one. Can okay, maybe fit it there? There's only one weight, so I've got to sort of... Oh, I don't want to... Could have it like this. I think it's only uppercase as well. Yeah, it is. What if I bump this up like that? I bumped up the, the Q. So I'm going to bump up that the S as well. So I'm customizing it, so I can fit, I want to fit the uh, studios in there on the side, you know, because if I do this, it's going to become really, I could do it like that, but it becomes really big, and the studio dominates when the studios is a secondary element in the hierarchy. <clears throat> so that's the issue there. Um... Thank you for considering the logo, no problem. So I feel like this is working really well right now. I think we should get that even include the scroll and thing. I wonder if I can trace this, guys. You think it's going to work?
I want to see if I can get a flourish from um, from her web. She had some on her website. So I wonder if we could like copy some one of those faith flourishes. I think that's a product. Yeah, it's on Redbubble. Okay. Alright, I'll see if I can um, trace this. Okay, it sort of worked. I just want one of the leaves. So you can see I'm tweaking these bars. I tweak and tweak it. So I get the right consistency. Okay, I'll expand that. Oh, wow, that's not gonna... Um, so what I want is one of these flourishes. I was looking at this thing. This might be useful. But it's not long enough. I need to make it longer, guys. I need to make it longer. Uh, could do it like this. But I need to roughen it. I need to roughen it a bit. Um, go effect. Distort. Um, trans. No, no, no. Not transform. Go to roughen. Drop. Um, we need to go 0.1%. And then we can play around with this to roughen up a bit and make it smooth. Uh, maybe eight would work. So you can see it roughened it up. See how it's not straight completely the edges. So I'm going to expand that and then just fix this up because I don't want this to be too round. Press P for the pen tool and you can hold Alt and you can drag this you can see the edge like that and then we'll round it off a bit like that oh yeah it's looking good guys it is looking good my friends I think this is my favorite logo out of the bunch Might just make this a little bit smaller. What do you guys think? Have we made progress? Let's um So let's look at the original. I like this mahogany. Let's find um, Yeah, I could just keep the red by itself Overlay doesn't work. Let's go screen.
All right. Uh, what's the chat thinking? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? So this was the original. That's the original, and then this is the new one. So I made a silhouette. I changed the font a little bit. I sort of made the studios um, more cohesive and in the the whole space in a square lockup. So this could work for a website. And then I added sort of like this nice little flourish uh, on the end there, which looks good. I could pr you could probably take this out, this icon, and have it just like this if you want. That could still work. But it's just an extra thing there. So um, yeah, let me know, guys. Have you guys fallen asleep? Maybe. How many people are watching? I don't even know. Are you guys awake? Do 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 do. Kyle Mack. <laughs> Kyle Mack. What's cracking, Kyle Mack? Kyle Mack. Holla back. Alright guys, I think there's one more logo. Man, people are, people stop sending me logos. Alright, bobblehead. <laughs> bobblehead films. <laughs> oh, this one's funny guys. Oh my gosh, what is this? I don't know if that's going to be a good logo, guys. Oh, man. Oh, wait, I don't want to drag it into the... <laughs> Guys, check this one out. Bobblehead Films. Okay. From Joe. I've been trying to come up with a consistent logo for my videos. My most recent try is attached. I'm an amateur videographer who uses an iPhone to capture most of the footage. I've also created... Characters and Adobe character creator, animator, and have some videos. What time is your YouTube class tomorrow? Any thoughts would be appreciated. Cool, man. So he's a videographer. Whoops. It's cool how he's got this little character, but I don't... We need to try and, um... What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Photoshop, guys. Actually, I might, um... Where is... Is it this one? Rosarino? Which one is it? Is this, um... It's not working, this thing. Do, 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 do. Hey guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the chat. Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do... I'm going to make it black and white. Okay, I'm going to get the levels. So I'm trying to trying to add some shading on his face.
I don't need the text, so I can cut that off. He's got th this weird blur stuff on the edges. So we can make it an illustrated type of logo. Okay, so I'm going to save this as a PNG. I'll just save it. I'm going to save it as a PNG. I'm going to image trace it, right? And then I'm going to expand it. So now it's it's all a vector. I, I'm gonna go uh, and clean up some of these. Um, whoops. Clean up some of those bits. Oh, cool! It looks digitized. So I can plus everything together. I think. So everything is grouped. And then we sort of want to, yeah, we just want to group everything, keep everything intact, right? Oh, uh, why is it doing that? Because it's like a compound path, it's like plussing the shapes inside of here. Bubble held, bubble head. Oh, I don't know if we can smooth <laughs> to smooth this. Trying to plus everything. All right, there we go. Fix it. Okay, so now, And then we need to find a color, guys. Um, maybe let's go to his website. What if you made it a bitmap? Yeah, I could do a bitmap. That's fine. But it's just easier as a PNG. I'm not sure if it's going to read properly. Okay, I don't know if his website works, guys. <clears throat> so the font is Cubano. It's like f playful. Oh, I'm gonna fix this because the spacing is like that. I can maybe make this. Um, let's go with like a neon pink, guys. Bobblehead films, Joe films. Bobblehead. 
Boom. And there we have it, guys. Bobblehead Joe Films. What's cracking? So I went for an illustration look. Instead of this, this is too... I don't even know what that font that is. It's just too complicated. So we can use this. That looks cool. And, um... And yeah. Good vibes. Good vibes. Maybe maybe we could put this black as well. Um. Anyway. I'm just going to leave it. And... I think that is it. Someone else sent me one last thing. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's it for tonight. We've done all the logos. And um, thanks thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. And, um, and yeah. Any questions before we jump off? You misspelled the website. That's why it's spelled. Wait. Oh, Joe with the E. <coughs> Man, why are you tripping? See, when you're in the middle of designing, you just got to focus, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, I'll try and search it up. Oh, here we go. Found it. I found it. Whoa, look at his color. Whoa, this... At least he's doing something. Okay, maybe I sh shouldn't do neon pink. <laughs> he likes his brown color. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, two options. All right, cool. There we go, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, any questions before we jump off? Thanks so much for watching the stream. I really appreciate it. Um, wait, let me split the show you the screen. Well, the logos didn't the logos didn't come through. Anyway, it's been the the stream is ending now. So thanks so much, guys. We're just gonna finish off with a quick ad. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and we'll talk to you soon.